It's me again. Hold on, I gotta pay this Venmo request. <laughs> Shit. Pay. Bada bing. Alright. Hi, guys. Oh, you know what I gotta do? Shit, I gotta put the chat room... Hold on, I have a whole system. Uh, hold the one, hold the one. Oh, I was not prepared. That's okay, people are gotta, people gotta join the thing. People gotta join the thing. Let's see. <clears throat> no one's even watching it. This is great. Okay, what was I, how did I do this last time? I open up Discord, not Discord, Twitch. Cause I like to have the chat room open here because uh, some people are saying that the chat room is like inconsequential to the whole stream thing. But I like it, I think. Um, stream manager, that's what I want. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. What up, Stee? All right, so I don't have an agenda today. I just really like... To be honest, it's been fucking, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. You know, I don't need my fucking chat room right here. Oh, you know what? I never, oh, whatever. Anyways. Um, yeah, today I'm just going to mess around. Like, I got to work on some tracks and um, <laughs> I was trying to see what I look like. Uh, this thing open. Um, let's keep this over here, actually, because my camera turned off randomly during the last, not the last stream, second to last stream. Anyways, look. Here's the deal. It's been busy, okay? So, I, I really appreciate the patience. Um, you know, and, and I know that, like, you know, I'll stream one week and then I disappear for another and I'm sorry. But it's, you know, like I always say... I'm a, get out of here, Zoom. Uh, like I always say, I'm a... I'm a producer that... What do I say? I'm a producer that streams, not a streaming producer. But then again... I, I thought that excuse was cool, but then, like, I see people that do what I do and seem to have no issues. <laughs> well, forget those people, okay, because, damn it, I'm different, I guess, or less capable to multitask. Um, I spent the morning speaking to a wonderful class at L.A. College of Music. And had some great questions, and it was super fun. And I, you know, maybe it's obvious from the streams, but I actually really enjoy talking about this shit with people because not only is it interesting, but it really helps keep it fresh in my mind to, like, revisit thought processes, you know? Anyways, what's going on with y'all? What's the deal? Who the fuck's that? Okay, what's the, what's the deal? Who in the chat? All right, let's see the chat. Let's see the chat room going up. Pop out. Oh, gift a sub. Fuck that mean? Pop out. There we go. Hell yeah! Now I got the chat window. I'm not. I'm not new to this shit. Still, I'm just whatever. Yo. Do you always read chat? I try to. I try to. All right. Um, anywho. So today is uh, nothing on the agenda today. Just fucking... I'm just going to mess around. Have some shit open. Like, I, I have this thing that I... Well, we have options here. We have some... Uh... I don't know if I did this in the last stream or I started this. Why does that sound so loud now? Cause the mastering's loud, isn't it? What are you doing? What are you doing? 3 dB, 10%. My gosh. That's loud. Let's take you down a little bit. I don't know. Uh, hold on. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. And then I was... Was I doing this thing? this thing I actually haven't listened to this yet since I opened it so oh I changed the patch oh yeah this thing went over here with this guy <laughs> I 
Anytime you spy an Oliver Loop, it's probably going to be a good stream. I mean, let's adjust this little mic here. All right, anyways. <clears throat> oh, Brett, that's so nice. I am, I'm doing well. The sessions went, are, are going well with Niall and Lizzo. Those aren't, they aren't done yet, but they're, they're going really, they're going really well. We got a good one yesterday with Lizzo. I'm so happy about, I'm so happy about, um, also, before I begin, obviously, the producer community lost a fucking legend. Sophie passed out of nowhere, which is so fucking sad and just awful. Um, she was a huge innovator and such an influence on, on me and I'm sure so many other people. So, rest in power, Sophie. Um, other than that... It's been a lot of the same, still kind of quarantining or just, you know, every session starts with a test <laughs> every morning, sometimes two. It's, 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 you know, it's, but I think that, you know, we're, we're round in the corner. It feels like, I hope so. So all the music that we're making now, I think we should have, uh, we should aspire to make post COVID music and, um, I don't know, just, it's going to be nice to see people again, you know? I miss people. I never thought I would say that. Generally, I hate people. I mean, generally, most people that spend a lot of time inside, like producers and stuff, don't really do well in social environments, and <laughs> I'm no exception. Or maybe I'm just speaking for on behalf of me and not really anyone else. I mean, then again, just like I complain about the not being able to walk and chew gum at the same time with respect to streaming and working... Maybe it's the, you know, I'm the only person that has severe social anxiety. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, California is on lockdown. How did I get my hair cut? Uh, my friend Gabby cuts my hair, and she comes here, and we both wear masks. But the thing, uh, the thing that makes it a little bit easier, one, is my haircut is obviously very not d demanding. It's really quick. It's just, you know, cut it all off. I don't want to see it anymore. And second of all, we wear a mask the whole time. And third of all, I get, I think I was tested seven times last week. Like, I don't see anyone and, you know, I have to play it super safe because of my sessions. And, you know, I don't want to walk into a session being like irresponsible. Like, yeah, I could have exposed you all. So whatever. Um, all right. So. Yeah, someone comes to my house. Okay. Well, I almost reached out to my screen and touched it. Okay. Anyways. So here we are. Whoa, don't knock this over, dummy. All right, I guess there's some people here. All right. Sweet. What are we doing? There's no agenda today, man. I'm just hanging out, fucking around. Oh, we have a lot of choices today, don't we? Amazing what Mutator does, right? It takes away your stereo, but it adds a dirtiness. I think it's 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 Antares, right? It's made for vocals, but man, using it on other stuff is really great. Audi Cat. Stop being so nice. What do you mean? What do you mean you can't stress enough how much you love my stream? That's so nice. You know, that's pretty neat. the vibes are amazing. That's, that's nice of you to say because I was hesitant about, I mean, I'm still hesitant about today's stream because I literally like, I'm not in like a creative funk, but I had a really long, long last couple weeks and I've just been like stressing so much and I have to, I have to work on this song from... Uh, a while back I went to Palm Springs and wrote a bunch of songs and today I'm like working on one of them and like I mean we've talked about this before but like I I want to be in like the right headspace to work on a song like I, I remember how I felt about this song um, that I have to work on today like or when we started writing it and I was like this is awesome and then I came in today like having it on my I wrote it put it on my calendar like I'm gonna work on this song today and I was just like kind of in a funk but also 
also because I'm phasing Adderall out of my life, which fucking sucks, man. Withdrawal is a real thing, but like I'm tapering it down, and That's it's been a neat. it's been a week now, so I'm still like a little bit insane, but. It affects everyone differently. Anyway, so that's also like putting me in a weird headspace. And so this morning I was like, man, I don't know if I'm the right headspace to work on this that's song. And I thought I would do a stream to maybe like, I was going to just open up Cubase and start like, it's like stretching for me, you know, but the streaming is just an added bonus because I get to talk to you guys and, you know, it's it's nice to socialize, even if it's just through a screen. And if there's any value to be had from me just fucking around, like, awesome, you know. So, how do you deal with self-doubt? Gosh, this is a recurring question, huh? I spend most days in the studio with my own criticism. I can complete, be a complete dick to myself. Yeah, bro. It's preaching to the choir, man. How do you beat that headspace? Uh, God, always with the hard-hitting questions. Well, Brett, I, it's a multi-level question, but uh, That's pretty neat. that doubt... Um, I feel like I say the same things over and over again, but it doesn't matter. I'll just say them again. Doubt never goes away. It just changes shape, right? It just, uh, no matter where you are in your career, if you're just starting out or even if you have like a couple hits or something or a couple cuts, like it's all relative, right? It never goes away. It just becomes another kind of like, you know, can I get a cut? Yeah, you get a cut. But then it's like, can I, you know, get a hit? Then you get a hit. Can I have a number one? I get a number one. Can I do it again? Like it never goes away. You know what I mean? So... <sighs> Here's what I wrestle with, with the self-doubt thing. Uh, no, and, and maybe this is just because I'm, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, but I don't try to force it anymore. Like if I'm not, I mean, it's actually a good uh, segue into what we were just talking about. Like if I'm not in the right headspace to work on something, I, I, more often than not, I don't force it, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll come back when I'm in a better mood. But honestly, and I really don't want you guys to take this the wrong way, especially you, Brett, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but... The doubt, I think there's a healthy amount of self-doubt. I think that that self-doubt is a reflection of you realizing how much of an undertaking music is, you know? It's like, you know how like the more you learn about something, the more you realize how little you know? I think that when it comes to music and stuff, the more you know the more you don't, <laughs> you know, like the more you realize how much, how infinite, you know, how there's no like concrete knowledge and there's no like concrete steps to making a song good or something. It's like everything is individual and relative and it's just fucking madness. That is the plight of the artist, you know, that constant doubt. And it, you're, you're looking at infinity every day. You're just staring at your terabytes of samples and all these wonderful plugins that you have access to and these things that... You know, and you're looking at the streams and like these producers are using the same things. Why can't I make it sound? Oh, what the fuck is going on? You know, like it's part. That's that's the plight of the artist, man. That's the journey. Like I'm I'm not better than you at this, Brett. I've only been doing this longer. I swear. That's it. That's it. So everybody's on their own journey and everybody is, you know. But but the doubt never goes away. So one, don't force it Two. <sighs> See, this is why I battle with. I think it's I think it's healthy. I think the doubt is healthy. Like it's it's important to be humbled. I, at least I mean, I'm and I'm speaking with respect to like I'm making music. I want to sell records. I'm I want you know I want to make music for people. I want to make songs that get cut. I want to make songs for artists to do. Like I'm talking with respect to that. That's the process I'm talking about, and that's what I'm applying the doubt to and all that stuff. Like one, don't force it, but two, I think the doubt is important, and also figure out why you're you know what it is like. Why are you doubting yourself? You know, is it uh, like whatever reason it is, you know, that's always going to be there and it's always going to change. So it's like, just get, make peace with the doubt, you know, and just keep going. Like, but I think the doubting, the doubt is in, indicative of, of, of like a sort of humbling of yourself. You know, I think it's really part of it's important. The other part is you have to find the line to where it doesn't, is it where to where it's not destructive constructive doubt fuck is that even a thing i don't know forgive me for my tangents but brett suffice it to say that i can relate and i'm sure a lot of people in this chat room can relate too because that is part of the deal 
that's part of the it's part of the deal. It's never gonna go away. So make peace with it. Okay. All right. How we go? What were we doing? Oh, wait, there is no. We're not doing anything. We're. Wait. How many chords? Oh, you know me. I'm always using scalar. Love me some scalar. Oh, you know what I have been messing with lately? Okay. I always. I don't talk shit, but I always have my beef with Roland. But oh my God. I think they're getting their act together. And you know what's funny is like I complain about Roland's uh, little uh, cloud thing, but for the most part, it's usually like a computer, like a user side issue. Then again, I don't have those issues with other things. Whatever, I'm not gonna start. I'm not gonna start. But the one thing I will say about Roland is the sounds are fucking magnificent. I hadn't really fucked with these uh, anthology things yet, and they are. They are so fun. Like, so fun. There was this one called Midi Stack that blew my fucking mind. I don't even know where it is. Oh, yeah. It'd be great if you could search for stuff. Look how slow that is. See? That's the kind of stuff that bugs me. I, I get you're trying to do, like, a cool UI user interface and shit, but, man. Let's focus on functionality, people. It's so funny. It's like Roland just gets in their own way. Like, they have incredible... Like, the end, the end product is amazing. But the, it's like the getting to it that's just trash. Like this user interface is just ridiculous. Look at these, you know, let's make the colors look like throw up and make the user interface really slow. Like, great, cool. <laughs> but no one's going to say shit because the sounds are fucking crazy. And they are so good. Anyways. I forgot which one it is. Where's MIDI stack? That shit was bomb. What are you, 1993 volume one? <laughs> Uh, there you are. Okay. Okay, first of all, hold on. I gotta, I gotta disable Scalar for a second. Like, wow. That's so sick. Oh, yeah, what I do? I did this thing the other day. Oh, Scalar, you're still doing things. Hold on, let me turn off Scalar. What did I do? Like, you know, you can tell like the quality of a synth. You can hear it in the low notes. It's not just a sample that's being pitched down. It's like. Okay, Roland. Okay. So nice. Ian, are you or were you into Jamiroquai? Yes. I love Jamiroquai. I think he collects like classic cars now, right? I, th I saw on his Instagram a while ago. Ah, you knew it. You knew it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's it's not even consciously all over Don't Start Now. It's like, that. I mean, Jamiroquai is a kind of influence that just works its way into your subconscious, plants a seed, and it's just there forever. He's one of those, you know? Um... Oh, feedback from my demos on IK Listener. Yes, I should do that. I will do a feedback stream. I'm I'm working on that. So also FYI, God, I've been talking too much. I've been talking too much. Um, people came here for music. Uh, I I had a call with some people at YouTube. And suffice it to say, we're working on some cool shit, some cool stuff. All right. Anyways, let's see if there's something fun to do. Scalar. Are you here with us? Oh, these sounds are so nice. I mean, they're so 1993, I guess. Pizza Hut? Anyways, 
there's this really cool thing that Scalar does. So first of all, I, I'm binding it to play these chords, right, with the with the keys. Can you see the? Yeah, you can see my fingers. Keyboard cam is working. All right. I spoke with Michael and Kyle. Nice. What are those guys doing? Choyo Park. Michael and Kyle, the homies. Amazing producers. Ian, we are talking next week. Wait, Sassy, Strassy. We are? That's pretty neat. What is next week? I'm so not good with my calendar. How neat is that? Oh. Wait, is that Jessica? Oh, I lost the chat window. Fuck, here it is. Oh, yes, Jessica. What's up? I'm so excited for that. Souvenir. Oh. <laughs> Gift a sub now to be number one. Gift a subscription. How do I gift a subscription? Oh, fuck. I lost my chat. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to gift a subscription. I don't know what that means. Jessica, <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? No, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. All right. Anyways. I just put the streaming music category. Thank you so much. You're going to... I need is that. It's... It... Hype train coming. What's that? Wait, what was that? Limit time to earn an exclusive emote. Jessica, are you hacking my stream? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Jessica's out here just fucking with me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited to... Okay, uh, Brett, souvenir is... Uh... Stee. Stee's like my upset parent. <laughs> He's just like, this fucking idiot doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh boy. All right, anyways. Excited to talk, Jessica. It's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be sick. We're gonna talk on Wednesday. Jeez, calm down, bro. What the fuck was that? Oh. All right, music. Woo, majestic. <laughs> All right, anyways, I need like, I need a fucking direction or something. Slow, boring, hate it. <laughs> oh yeah, these drums were fun. This is like New Jack shit. You know what's, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go on a tangent. Anyways, uh, what do I want to do today? What do you, what should we do today? Oh, the writing camp in Palm Springs was amazing. That was the first time, oh man, people came here for music and that? I'm just chatting. Okay, I'll make it quick. It was amazing. Uh, we wrote, there was a day where we wrote like three songs. Charlie XCX came out, Tovlo came out. We wrote three songs in a day and I think they're all fucking insane. And that was just the last, that was like the last day. Um, it was... It was nice. It was the first camp that I put on. Technically, uh, Evi yes, Jason right. Evigan and I put on the camp, and it was like the first time. Like it was okay. This is we're organizing it rather than like being a part of it. So I was very nervous for it to go, for How it to go well. That? So, anywho, all right. Um, I have no agenda. What should we do today? Hello, hello, France. Hell yeah. UK garage, hyper pop with laser and glitters. Uh, maybe. When I create a beat, do I think of the singer? No, I don't. Not all the time. <laughs> or the range? No. But I should, right? Getting the key right is important. That's a, that's a skill that I don't have. <laughs> Alright, let's fucking... What, what's going on here? Nexus? What is this? Yeah, we have like eight different vibes going on. So, I'm gonna... Catch myself up and see what the hell... What was this thing here? <laughs> Sounds great. Uh... Nah, fuck that. 
You know what? Fuck that. No, let's go over here. I really like these drums. Let's see what these drums are. The drums are Vice. A Vice preset. We're, so I'm going to pretend that I'm just chasing inspiration the way I always do, which kind of means going in a million directions and selecting a bunch of presets and just waiting until something goes, oh, that's cool. It's Friday today. It is, Brett. Do you know what that means? I know you just said it. I know you just said it, but do you know what that means? It means it's pizza day. I'm going to get pizza tonight. It's shit like that that keeps me going. <laughs> Friday's pizza night. I was good all week, man. You know, I was good all week. Ooh. things. Uh, I think I chopped this up. Which one is this? D Disco drum loop 113. I'm pretty sure I chopped this up, but let's 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 just look at the original real quick. Can we get more window here? Disco drum. What is it? 113. I want to hear the original. I think I took some kicks out, that's all. I didn't do anything to it, except, uh, I don't know, it sounds like maybe I put spiff on it too, but anyways, Avox is on it. Oh, and it's just pitched down, right? How neat is that? Wait a minute, is it just pitched down? Yeah. Yeah, it's pitched down by one, which is this thing. I love using a uh, mutator on drums sometimes because it just gives it a little like weird personality, even though it puts it in mono, which is fine. But I'm going to render that because something interesting I'm happens with mutator and some plugins that adjust pitch and try to do a lot is you'll get delay compensation stuff acting up. So I'm, I'm always curious as to like, you know, like my transient... See, see the difference here? This is something that bugs me. So like when I'm listening back, and this might just be a Cubase thing or just the plugin trying to do too much, but like this is the file, but what I'm actually hearing is the kick starting here. And this little millisec di millisecond difference makes a huge deal to me. Like triggers the OCD big time because I'll know that like I'll, I'll, I'll hear like a hi-hat leading the kick and I'm like, what is happening? And I realized, like, oh, you know, it's one of those plugins, so I have to render it so that I can, you know, go whoop, and then we're on track. I mean, not that everything needs to always be on the grid. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? So anyways. Yeah. It's a little faster, man. Wait, was that kick sounding weird? Whatever, whatever. Don't. You're streaming. Don't obsess. <laughs> but but hey, it's good. This is an insight into the into the you know weirdness. Uh. So, anyways, what should we do? What should we do? Someone give me, give me um. Okay, I have an I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna. I don't know how to do this. This is why we have to do like polls and stuff. I'm going to learn how to do these things, but give me three letters and I'm going to search for them. Like for example, you know, ABC. And then we come up with. LAX. All right. LAX. Galaxies. Oh, there's a lot. 
lot of LAX. I'm sorry I've left my card at home. Well, you're late as well. That I'm sorry. I'm so oh, get out. I love that. Is everything okay? Um. Yeah. Jesus. That's not chillax. Ooh. Okay. Let's go there first. Oh, yeah, we're getting weird. Should I just delete everything else? Yeah, fuck it. Get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right. Um, that's going to be one element. Now, give me three letters. Oh, <laughs> look at the chat room. <laughs> A L Q Y. QIX. That's a good one. QIX. Let's go QIX. QYX. Ooh. Cool. Bada bing. What else we got? Get the fuck out. That's sick. Where are these files from? I don't even know. Whatever. Let's just fucking use them. All right. Let's see what else we got. A L O. A L O. Whoa. Oh, by the way, my list is populating and 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 uh organized by duration, I believe. So let's randomize it. Bottle being shuffle, even though that doesn't look like it's really shuffling very well. Anyways. Ooh. Oh, MDL. MDL is so nice. Amazing stuff. Okay, hold on, we gotta pick up a couple. Ow, so loud. Let's go by duration, fuck that. Let's go up to the top, go to these like big, uh... Okay, okay, fine. I have no idea how that's gonna work with anything, but let's just, okay. Um. Oh shit, I paused the chat. Okay, SQY, that's a weird one. SQY. Wow, these are, where are these from? Where, where are these from? Oh, is this still a bug? Are you still a bug? Yeah, you're still a bug. Hold on, let me try now. Reveal in Finder. Reveal in Finder. Where? No. I don't know where it is. All right, whatever. I think this is from John Ryan's sounds. But let's use that. SQI, that's a good one. All right, one more, and then we're going to FFF. I like that. FFF. As in, like, fa. Ooh, a lot of FFFs. The fuck? Whoa. Rating you for later. What the hell are these? Oh, my God. Oh my god, that sounds like the Frank Ocean. Guitar tones. All right. Oh my god, what the fuck are we going to build out of this? This is definitely some stretching. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, hold on. This is 80. Is that, wait, what is 80, oops, where'd you go? Oh, why am I all the way at bar 50? Come over here. Let's, uh, okay, before I just wanna mute all of this real quick. Is this, like if I make it the, Is this shit? 
This is just background. I know, I know. But I like the note of it. I want the drone to like influence the chords. Oh, you know what? How much of this? Okay, time to get weird. What's Melodyne gonna do to this? Polyphonic sustain. What's that noise? Okay. I'm gonna hear you. I wanted to hear this note in there. This doesn't do anything. I'm, 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 I'm getting rid of this. All right, cool. So. Just walk with me. Just walk with me here. Very pretty. Um, and then, um, I don't know, super massive. Just a little space for it. Don't need it. All right. Oh, and then let's set up a chan uh, a group to like duck stuff through. Ducky. Just for fun. Put a little C2, a little side chain and uh getting ahead of ourselves here. Oh yeah, okay. We'll side chain it with 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 the the vice drums for now, whatever. Ish, okay, but can, we because we gotta we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with all these crazy elements here. So at some point we might adjust tempo. I think we're gonna adjust tempo. Maybe not. No, let's go with what we're... All right, let's see what else we got. What is this thing? It's a Rex file. My job is done here. This sounds great. How the fuck are we going to use this? Okay, we'll come back to this. <laughs> I don't know about this guy Oh, I know what we can. We can definitely cut these little brushes up, though. Actually, fuck. Let's put this into Vice. Come here, Vice. Serve your purpose. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, right. It's a big file. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of information. Can't even see. All right, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go there in a second. What else have we got? Oh, these weird tones. And what was this thing? Oh yeah. Ooh, reversing it actually gives it a little. Who 
I'm just trying to make something out of this, you know? Man, I'm gonna really break this thing down to just one little part. Oh, you know what we could do? Check this out. We can make each little ch chop a different... Watch. Cool, like just... I want something to play chords over for now, okay? I don't even know if this isn't right, like... Let's get a... Let's change the chords to just... just keep this sometimes i i do this for like inspirations of a, of, a, of a chord progression like i'll just put something that just drones in the background and then try to write chords over it because it i don't know for some reason it, it works sometimes it's like a nice little atmospheric thing although i don't want this sound for now Lord, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot about this guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, tune it. I, I did kind of want to print it. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little annoying. So what? <laughs> We're walking down a road right now, and if it doesn't lead anywhere, we'll come back. It's okay. You know what? Actually, I kind of want reactor on this, only because I have I hear this thing in my head for the chords, and I want to see if I can do it. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. What was that freaking preset I made? It? It's like, uh, when I sound. Oh, I want calm notch. Yeah. Get out of here. I don't need you modifying anything. What's a click? What's with the click? Yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about? 
Retrospective record. Let's just walk down this road for a little while. Oi. I have a call in one hour. Fuck. Damn it. I forgot about that. Interesting. I kind of like it. Um, what is bothering me about this? Oh, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Let's, uh... Where's my keys? the first thing that we were doing. Kind of a vibe, kind of a vibe. Let's, 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 let's fuck with it. Like, uh, all right. Wait, what's going on in the chat? I've been watching your past live for the past 25 years. Oh, <laughs> you finally made it to a live one. All right. It's time to go. Um, I'm so happy you might made it for a live one. This, the, now you can't skip around. I <laughs> <laughs> got you. I'm going to tell a long story. <laughs> Ah, oh, boy. All right. All right, we got our brush stuff. <laughs> what about this thing, though? Weird. Nah, oh, shit, the brushes were more interesting. Ah, oh, crap, gotta do it again. Ah, oh, crap, look at all that. Look at all them brushes. What is this shit? Oh, you know what? Before I even cut it up, what's in here? Whoa. Whoa, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know what I want to hear? I'm going to take all this. I'm going to put it into tape mode, which means when I shorten it, it's going to increase the pitch. I like those sounds, but wait, where is that in the loop? Let's find that. Where's that like around here? Oh, it's not detecting the things, the little hats. Wait, sensitivity up. What is lagging? What is lagging? What are you doing? Are you oversampling? No. What's causing the lag? Oh, it's probably... You soothe, you bastard. Get out of here. 
Yay. All right, let's see what we got here. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe, 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 who knows? By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed this up. I'm 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 like fun, fun, fun. Copy. Actually, make them all one. Take it out, you know. I want to get a little. Take it out. 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 You know. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna need a dagada and a do da do maybe. Maybe a dagadi. What is retrospective? <laughs> the, the, the fucking capitalization of your question <laughs> is everything. <clears throat> retrospective record is basically Kibas is like always sort of like paying attention or whatever per se. And sometimes it's like, hey, did you like that thing you just did? Like, do you want me to, like, remember that? And you're like, oh, that would be great, dude. And it's like, oh, okay, here. And like, that's, there you go. Right, what do you need? Do Why do you use a limiter when producing? Because my strength is so great. No, it's um just because, I don't know. Why does anyone use a limiter? It just makes things easier. Also, it's kind of like a quick way to make things sound good and make sure I'm not peeking all over the place, you know? Pakeem, you feel uncreative? Welcome to the club, bro. Um, go outside, take a walk. <laughs> Read a book. Do something else, basically. That's the answer. It's the only way to do it. Or try to force it, you know, I don't know, man. There's no solution. It's literally, these are just the problems. You know what? I know a lot of questions get asked on this channel. And sometimes there are no answers. Sometimes it's just like, yep, that's what it is. I don't feel creative today. That's just today, bro. That's just today. Pakeem, have you ever felt creative before? Obviously. So you know what it feels like when you do. And you also know what it feels like when you don't. So it's not like that feeling's never going to come back. Basically, you're at point A right now, and you need to get to point B, where B is like, I'm in a creative mood. And uh, we're at point A right now, I, me, me included. So we all have to collectively figure out how to get to point B, which is a creative state of flow. So all we need to, all you need to worry about is shortening that distance, you know, A to B. So... Maybe taking a nap brings you a little closer. Maybe 
Reading a book for an hour brings you a little closer. And then you have a little coffee, brings you a little closer. And you're like, huh, what's that little tingle? <gasps> Boom, you're at B. Is Cubase worth $500 or should I stay with Logic? Um, yeah, nah. Nah, Cubase is high. No, of course, you know the answer to that. I mean, you know what I'm going to say. So I'm biased, obviously. Logic is great, too. If you want unlimited power, go to Cubase. But also, Cubase is a pain in the ass. It's, you can do a million things. It's like uh, it's like when you get a Tesla, you know, you feel like you're joining a club of, like, explorers, you know, with like, oh, well, I'm going to, I guess I'm going to try this autopilot thing. <laughs> and then, like, everyone goes online and chats about, like, all the problems and shit. It's like, or, you know, a new piece of software or anything. It's like, it's that kind of thing with Cubase, you know, everybody, like, a new version comes out and then they're like, hey, let us know what the bugs are. And, like, a million people flood the forums, like, what the fuck? And then they fix it. It's like, it's an adventure. Cubase is an adventure. And it's only because they, they just do so much. Sometimes they do too much, <laughs> you know, and then they got to pull it back and like make shit work better. <laughs> yeah, dude, Teslas are the greatest. They're so nice. It's also nice to drive around and not gas. All right. Let's keep going. What is this? Oh. Playing with the tempo a little bit. Yo, what is this thing? How come we can't find a home for this? Okay, yeah, we're going to find a way to use this. How, though? Let's. Let's. Okay, I'm going to break it up from being a part, and then I'm going to quantize it, because who the fuck knows what's going to happen with that. Also, just try to get rid of all the clicking I'm going to I made this shortcut in Cubase that gets rid of all overlaps like this I made it shift O yeah okay so now we have no overlaps and auto fade is set to six milliseconds so it shouldn't click that is so dope oh everything's dope wow Let's uh let's just explore you for a second there. That's pretty. First of all, first of all, first of all, homie, volume. Oh, you want another sorry, I'll keep going, but I gotta tell you guys this. Pitch map. Oh yeah, pitch map would be sick. I'll remember that. I gotta tell you guys this. The fucking the thought that I'm on this week that is royally fucking me up. Like the rabbit hole of thought that I've been going down. And I talked about this in the Discord, but this whole like week, I've been trying to like basically I try to train my brain by I, I think of something like, for example, this week I've been thinking about how often I EQ something. Uh, and, and when I EQ it, I'm actually doing something that a change in volume would achieve. For instance, like this loop, right, is loud. Okay, it's loud. It's at zero. So like... I could EQ, or I, this is an extreme example. I could EQ it and like take out the, the you know, the, 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 the meat, which is this area here, right? Which serves to lower its volume, obviously. We're, we're taking away frequencies. We're, we're lowering certain frequencies. The problem is that leaves a bunch of junk everywhere else, right? So like sometimes I'll do shit like this and I'm, and I'm like, yo, if I brought, so I brought this down to negative 9 dB, right? This EQ, this whatever, this arbitrary frequency that is the most prominent, whatever. And that kind of gave me my desired result. It made it less intense, right? Bro, how about this? I'm gonna delete that and then I'm gonna take it down nine decibels. So now I have the desired result in this area, but I also have gotten rid of all the junk on the side, you know? So basically the, wor the rabbit hole that I've been going down is like how often am, am, am I... Uh, while I'm EQing, like achieving things that could just be done with a volume change, you know, like why it's almost like, and, you, and this doesn't just apply to EQs, but that's, that's where I'm at. But it also applies to, you know, and this is not to say that you can't use an EQ to achieve these things. I'm just saying this is like a thought experiment. Like maybe, you know, are, are you using your compressor 
uh, as of sort of, of like maybe something's too loud so you're compressing it when all you needed to do is you know maybe the sample was already compressed and all you needed to do is turn it down like what instrument what plugins are you using in lieu of a volume adjustment so it's like the the thing i'm trying to train my brain to do is like okay before i do this like am i sure that a volume change wouldn't just solve this problem no okay then i'm going to eq it you know like you know what i mean um Hakeem, that is dope. I'm glad they inspire you. If, if anything, it should show you that, you know, we all go through the same fucking creative blocks. So, but all it takes, you know, as well as I do, all it takes is like, you're messing around for an hour and then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, that actually sounds dope. And then you get all excited and it's like, there you go. You're off, it's, it's, you're off, off to the races. just heard this thing in my head is there a uh... oh wait 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 oh you know it sound crazy on this so since it's all chopped up and weird what would happen if I put um, Echo Boy and did, oh, sorry, Echo Boy Jr. Sorry, Echo, old Echo Boy, um, and put it on like Ping Pong Echo or something. clicking still coming from is that in the sample oh it is in the sample huh right yeah okay okay i'm tripping in that case let me get lossy in here to do some eqing about it like this right now I'm, I'm, I'm setting up an atmosphere almost right like it's a pretty incon it's going to end up being a somewhat inconsequential part of the track right it's not that important of a, of a track but don't forget your call oh shit what time is it no, 3 50 no i have a i have an alarm set thank you that is so fucking considerate of you too uh prob okay <sighs> Anyways, it's an inconsequential part of the track, but like it's going to maybe inspire the important parts, you know? So I'm just like dicking around and messing with this weird ambiance and this loop. But now I'm going to write some more, some new chords to this. So it's like maybe the next time you're having trouble like starting something, you can start like, you know, if you looked at it like a big timeline of like, you know, I'm starting with the, the meat of the sandwich, you know, like... Wait, <laughs> what's the analogy? Instead of starting with the salami, start with the pepper, you know? Like, I'm just, it's a little seasoning, you know? And then from there, we can write chords. So it's like, instead of just approaching it, approaching it like I'm sitting down at a piano and I'm writing a song, because we're on a computer and we have all these cool samples to play with, like, I'm going to throw in an acapella and then write some new chords to it, you know? Like, uh, Ian, when you layer shit, sometimes you use like 30 layers. Is layering just trial and error 
Yeah, no, it, it's trial and error, but also um, Grim Preacher. It, it's for the sake of, um, like, you know, for a kick drum. You know, one kick, you really like the sub, the bass aspect of this kick, but I love the attack of this other one. You know, they all have their objectives, and the listener doesn't know you're layering 30 things or three kicks. All they hear is one thing. That, you know, it doesn't really matter how many you use. And obviously, you have to consider phase and stuff, but layering for me is about making up the, the missing parts of the sound that I want, you know? And they have to complement each other frequency-wise, like, you know, allow room for each other and stuff. <laughs> you know I really want to hear is like a really sped-up tambourine. What are those hit kit tambos? I want to hear like a... What's the thing I need to search for? PLTB? Actually... This is perfect. But I want to speed it up, make it sound like... I'm going to put it in tape mode. Nope, never mind, time mode. And I'm going to put it through the ducky thing so it's getting ducked by the... Actually, you know what? It's time to be responsible. Let's create a... Okay, here, here's here's the new thing I've been doing. I've been, I've been triggering my side chains with MIDI. So basically, I'm, I'm going to copy the MIDI of that thing, and I'm going to solo out the kick, which is... Wait, is there two kicks? Wasn't there another one? No, it's only that one. Okay. Bada bang. Get rid of all this. Get rid of all this. I'm going to make all these a uniform size. So length is going to be fixed. And I'm just going to make them little blips. Okay. Right? That's my trigger. Okay. And in the Pro 2, wait, I forgot. How do I do this? Okay. I'm going to take it off Vice. Get out of here. And then... Oh, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. I have to send MIDI to Ducky Pro C2. So now my MIDI is triggering it. So basically the reason I'm doing this is because now I can have more control over the attack and release of uh, the, the kick. And also the other fun shit you can do is like, say for instance, your attack, this is just something I haven't really nailed how to do it right. I feel like I hear this, like I've heard Skrillex do this, where I just hear his, the kick ducking whatever is being ducked, like slightly ahead of the actual kick, you know? It's like the 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 side chain that is, the, the, what, whatever the kick is that's getting sent to the side chain is like shifted over. And it like creates this weird silence right before the kick, which is like, instead of just moving the music out of the way when the kick hits, like a side chain normally does, it like moves it out of the way a little bit ahead of time, which is so weird and like disorienting, but it sounds massive. It's like an auditory illusion or something. Wait, who told a cool story? Uh, what is the Bossa Nova piano? Uh, um, hey, Tambo, get ducked. <laughs> Um, oh, Brett, peace out, bro. Um, deal with when you're sending it to mix. Oh, how do I deal? With, good question, Alex. How do you deal with ducking when I send it to mix? Very carefully. And if it's a, a very important, like, obviously, if I send a track that's ducked, a stem that's ducked to a mixer, and he puts a compressor on it, it's going to kind of fuck up the duck. You can't fuck the duck, you know? Um, so I'll either send a preset of, of my like LFO tool and show them exactly how I'm triggering it. Uh, you sometimes I'll include a, a, tr a track, like I'll make a track with like a little transient blip on it. And I'll be like, okay, this is supposed to be in the mix, but like as a send only and send it to a C2 with this preset on it so that they can recreate it. Because a lot of people obviously don't mix in Cubase. So that's how I handle that. Do I have a Dua Lipa story? Yeah, man. So many. 
this one time we wrote an awesome song. A couple times, actually. So, anyways, I was thinking about, so just back to this trigger thing, I was thinking, like, if I say, for instance, I'm going to set the offset of this trigger to negative 5 milliseconds. So this MIDI is going to be hitting 5 milliseconds faster than the kick in this loop. So what would happen if I set my attack to 5 milliseconds? Like, it's almost like, uh, like <laughs> mentally I'm thinking of the attack starting 5 milliseconds, or sorry, 2.5 milliseconds or whatever, five milliseconds before the kick hits, but then right when it gets down to the bottom, that's when the kick actually hits. Instead of the kick triggering the thing going down, triggering the volume de declining at the attack speed, it's the attack speed's happening, and then right at the bottom of the attack speed, which would be five milliseconds, that's when my kick hits. So it's kind of like what I think I was hearing Skrillex do, but like with a, instead of just chopping it off, I mean, maybe that's this is what he, he does for all I know, because... I haven't been able to get the effect yet, but it, it, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. I wonder if I can exaggerate it. It'll become more apparent when we put some chords in here. So let's put some chords in there. Or just a bass line or something. Do we use scalar? Fuck it. It might take a little longer, but it might be crazy, dog. Uh, scalar. I don't even know what key we're in. We'll figure it out. Is this thing shifted? It is. Let's not shift it. Okay, scale lock. Get out of here. Find a random ass fucking Latin chords. Okay, whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it's in my right. Wait. Oh, what happens when I do this? There's this weird thing you can do that's like force into scale. Let's go C minor. See what happens. Har harmonic minor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this not going through? Hold on. Is our chords not going through the uh, ducky? It's going into LOL. Wait, what's LOL? What? Get out of here. What? What is this? Okay. I don't know what this group's doing. Get out of here. Did I just ruin everything? No, I didn't, right? Well, that doesn't have any sound anymore. Throw it into Ducky. Okay. Ah. Whoa! Fuck me, that's crazy, hold on. Yeah, that's the guy. I love Scalar. It just, random chords, random chord progressions, and you just, it just takes you out of your patterns. I love it. Cool to do like a burner burner. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can do it with. I did retro retrospective record with Scalar. So those are that's what I just played with Scalar. What up, Iggy? Iggy one, Iggy, Iggy one, Iggy two. Do you have any tricks for reverb processing? Yeah. I. It, keep it separate. <laughs> no, I, 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 that's a, we're gonna, that's a wormhole. 
Um, um, da, 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 da. Wait, who keeps saying that's a cool story, bro, but keep it to yourself? D Day Griff, what are we talking about here? You guys can tell stories. It's okay. Or are you talking to me? If you're talking to me, I agree. Oh, okay. Retrospective record is, uh, whatever. Let's keep going. Well, wait a minute. You notice how I like put the tambourine in there and then just forgot about it? <laughs> just didn't copy it or anything? Uh, okay. going to put this here because I need to change the note in the actual MIDI. You know? Let's just uh, record this in. Now I'm tracking the scalar MIDI to the MIDI track of the actual Razor synth. Get the fuck out of here, Loop. Why you always oh, just want to mute you? Yes, I yell at inanimate objects all the time. It's part of my deal. That's why you're single. What? <laughs> what, did he, what did he say? Okay, let's change these chords. Hold on, I'm trying to do this without... I'm I'm a drummer. Okay? Just be patient. <laughs> Sometimes you get cool stuff this way, okay? Yeah, okay, hold on, sorry. Uh, uh, the start is over. Wait. This is how it works. <laughs> Just fucking wait. <laughs> Keep that. I can stay there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I gotta leave it alone, sorry. Okay, cool. For now, it's fine. Sorry. <laughs> Takes me a lot of time sometimes. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Casey is... Uh, uh, he works at Big Deal. We talking about stuff. We talking, making deals, making deals. I got deals, hey. Hey, I got deals, okay? I got fat to chew. What's the thing from Snatch where he's like, I got fat to chew, you know, uh, what's his name? Wow, not good at anecdotes, huh? All right, what else we got? Let's, uh, oh, let's, how about, <laughs> let's copy the uh, tambourine over and stuff. This have, oh, we have room for this guy still? The most exciting part about this is going to be what we what we choose for the snare. It has to be the weirdest, the weirdest thing ever. You know, like the first time you heard the fucking snare on, oh, I'm going to get demonetized again, but I don't care. I don't even care. I just want this for inspiration right now. The first time I heard the snare on this... Right? Does everybody remember the first time they heard the snare? I'm gonna show you and you were just like, I'm gonna show you you what the fuck? Today. What the fuck? What is that, a drop? What the fuck is that? Anyways, the first time I heard that, I was just like, like, that's so crazy. Who would think to do that? And now I think to do that because of that song. Such is the way of inspiration. Ooh. Wait, let's find a snare for, by using the uh, three-letter method. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, uh, let's do the three-letter thing and, and look for it in, uh, whatchamacallit, the media bay. LCH, Carling. You were first, LCH. Let's go by duration and go to only the short samples. Ooh, I got some. Okay. Actually, you know what we're going to do for this? Sorry, I'm going to load battery. Bat. Three. Fuck. 408. All right, we're good. Battery. What? What takes that long? Okay. Now let's let's add a bunch of these crazy These are too short. Hold on. I, I, we're looking Whoa, I have a lot of Ooh, there's a nice little clap. Hey, we got it from LCA. Fun. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, right. Remember, we're thinking, ooh, okay. We might be going a little jack you with this. What else? Let's find another one. KMZ. KMZ. Okay, fine, whatever. KMZ. Really? There's not that much with KMZ. Okay. KMZ is an abstract one. JKP. Wah hit. Mm. Give me more. Ooh, that's a nice guy. I rate you for later. Where'd you go? Um, Cubase bug, by the way, when I'm searching for things. If I like it, it. Oh, that one didn't disappear. See? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that's about. That's a weird ass little snare. Okay. What are we doing? 
Now, just for shits and giggles, let's put, uh, I don't know, let's put standard clip on this shit. Just so we get a little crunch. Who don't like crunch? Like, that really dull snare is kind of interesting. I mean, I don't know why. Wow, another Cubase bug. Cubase, huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so what? Q-bug. <laughs> ah, Q-bug. Look, Cubase does a lot of stuff, okay? Those guys are really fucking serious about their shit. Just the same way I want my production to be experimental and I want to try crazy shit, they do the same thing with their program. So I accept the bugs and they always fix them. Or usually it's like, well, that actually happens because of this. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm dumb. You know, I don't know. What the fuck? Who just, who just put Despacito in the chat? <laughs> that looks incredible. That looks incredible. Kappa the Napa. How did that is so funny? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, wait, what are we doing? Probably what we're doing. That's hard. That's hard fool. I like it's weird. Was that so loud? Get out of here. Is that two, two, two notes stacked on top of each other? Why are you so loud? Whatever. Snooze! No, sir, I don't like it. If anybody knows where that's from, I'll be amazed. Oh, Cap of the Nap would like drop an art ASCI old school macros. Oh, <laughs> Pepe. Remember when that was actually awesome and like wasn't some weird right fucking right wing shit? We're going to take it back. We're going to take Pepe back. Those fuckers can't meme. Come on now. Splice, snare, RT, Astro, Nautica. 
I don't know if I have that. All right. Oh, uh, let's, uh, oh my God. Let's just go with the bamboo guy. Remember the bamboo snare? Remember, get out of the way. Get out of here. Yeah, this guy. There's a new rules. Uh, it's in the new rules drop. Great, great little guy. Great little snare there. Okay. Loud. when like a snare just kind of reaches out of the mix and says fuck you <laughs> here i am you know what no one else personifies snares like that all right a little bit okay, okay on, i gotta print this i gotta print this because calls in a little bit but hold on hold on i want to do i want to add we should do the same thing with kicks i need three letters no, never mind. 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 Oh, how about this? I'll put kick and then three letters. How about let's go back to the three letters thing. P P O R. Ass. Okay, kick ass. That'll be good. Let's see if I have any rated. Oh wow, a lot of kick ass kicks. Damn, that thing hurts. It's offensive. All right, all of you need to get the fuck out of here. Delete. Yeah, yeah, bitch. I wouldn't have did it if I didn't want to do it. Come on. Okay. Love me that kick. Oh, get out of here. Love that one. <laughs> These are all the kicks I rated, so obviously I'm going to love most of them. Oh, love that. Good job, Ian. Okay, whatever. That's cool. That's enough uh, kicks. Did it reset all the uh, stuff too, right? It didn't... Okay, loudness. Damn, son. What do I have standard clip on this? Yeah, we gotta chill you the fuck out. Ceiling's on. Alright. Amazing, isn't it amazing how like just one element changes the entire feel of the song? Like, it's a different beat with this kick. It's barely anything, right? Oh, you know what else I want to do? I want to also send this to my side chain because I want it to duck. Ducky. Right? Is that too much? Oh, right. So awesome. Maybe not so much of you. Copy it over to this one too, because for when I want to like, I want to go, boom, boom, you know. 
And this one I can like lower the volume a little bit. What time is it? 420. Oh, <laughs> 420? I gotta go. But I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna come back. I use multi band compressors all the time. Wanna prove it? I'll do it right now. Why am I doing this? Actually, I don't wanna, I wanna, what time is it? Okay. Come on now. So many patterns. Okay. Okay. What do I, I just started rapping? All right. Da -da -da. That was retrospective record. If you need an explanation, please refer to earlier in the stream. I want to quantize that. I like how it's weird. I'm going to quantize selectively. You can get it. And you can get it. And all right. Well, yeah, you can get it because you're really early. <laughs> What is the? Does that ruin the little? We don't. We don't need. We don't need the snare. Oh, I want to hear this. The do do do. The do do do. You know it'd be fucking sick if this kick sounded like that. You know that like how much time we got? Can I do that? I can do that with like uh Okay, shut the fuck up. Jeez. Um, how do I do that? How do I do that? I could do that with shimmer. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking like this. Like, watch what happens. It goes like you know, you can do it with this. By size and diffusion. You know? But I don't want that metallic y thing. Maybe it's this right here that I do. No, it's not it's not it's not with shimmer. It's gonna be crystallizer, maybe. Crystallizer does that shit. Don't ya? Don't ya? Do 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 no stop drums. Don't this do something like that? Okay, it's not crystallizer. Super massive? What do you have to offer? What have you? What time is it? Okay, we're good. Hold on. Maybe it was shimmer. Um, all right. Fuck, I gotta go. No, I gotta figure this out. <laughs> what is it? Maybe it is shimmer, and then I gotta fade it in. I gotta, you know, like, uh, put a little bit of... I'll show you, okay.
Mm. It's not the sound I want, but I have to render that because I'll show you why. Obviously, the timing, if I didn't render it, it's like, sounds like this. Obviously, it isn't going to work. So now I'm going to take Shimmer off. And I'm going to, I have my little uh, printed version down here, you know? What am I going to do? I'm going to put it over here. Well, look at that. So now you have, right? And you know what? Just for added, what time is it? Five minutes. For added uh, coolness, I'm going to duck the shimmer track with the kick. Can we name some fucking tracks, Ian? You can't. Sorry. Kick one. And then a uh, shimmer kick. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Side chain with uh, kick, kick one. Right? Pre-fade. Take this off auto. Side chain source external. Bada bing, bada boom. What? Is that doing what? Dude, why the fuck am I side in it? If, if I was a really good producer, this is what I would do. I would just fucking cut it manually. Way more control, you know? That way I could, like, really focus on the... Uh, what time is it? Fuck. Then I have to do it for every single one. Okay, how about this? Ah, oh, shit. We can use it like... Why didn't I hear that? Oh, hold on. Let me not duck it really quick. Wait, wait. Check this out. What time is it? Shit. Check this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What time is it? Fuck. All right, I gotta go. I'll be back later on tonight. Um, I love you guys. Save this as... Oh, <laughs> look at the track name. It's OK Lizzo Better Respond. <laughs> this originally was an idea that I really liked for her and like a whole different idea and I sent it to her and I got no response. <laughs> what time is it? OK, fuck. All right, I love you guys. I'll be back. I'll be back um, tonight. And I'll be way more stoned. I didn't even I didn't even get stoned for this. I'm slipping. <sighs> All right, I'll be back. Love you guys.